The gate was over $3 million. The attendance is 17,026, a full sellout. This is the highest grossing sporting event in Barclays history. Um, Madison Square Garden, we're number one and number three. Here we're number one and number two. Um, so we broke our own record tonight. Ridiculous considering the week we had, uh, but amazing. Very happy. Um, let me see. Fight of the night. I don't think there's any. There's a beat. That fight was the fight of the night. Mercier gets a bonus, and uh, uh, Chris um, for the stoppage of Joe Lozon. If you cannot beat anyone in this division, like Max Holloway, Yaquinta, or Tony Ferguson, you know, like you make weight, you already do very good training camp, you ready, and now. If you're gonna talk about, oh, this guy, different stylistic guy, you know, I need like a couple months for training for this guy, how you can call yourself champion? If you're champion, if you wanna be champion, undisputed, undefeated, you have to can, can beat anybody, and, you know. <clears throat> and uh, all week I stay calm, focus. I'm, I'm focused on me because I have to make weight. And. Uh, because I am ready, that's why I still stay focused, no nervous, don't think about other stuff, and um, and I know I cannot make mistake, because if somebody have chance make mistake, you know, like I I don't have this chance, you know, on the line belt, you know, this is why I train so long time. I honestly believe there's three guys in this company or in fighting that would have stayed and done and and, and stayed in the fight. No doubt Conor McGregor, okay, Cowboy Cerrone, and Habib. I mean, it, the stuff that this guy went through, you know, physically, emotionally, mentally, this week, many people. I, I've been on the side where the guy who is the champ and, and, and is, uh, had a full camp won't take a guy who's coming off a short No, I mean, it just doesn't happen. And what that guy's been through, and he came in and he fought, and uh, much respect to Al, too. You know, he didn't show up for a paycheck. He came to win. He's a tough guy. And she just stepped it up, you know. She improved in general. And um, my hat's off to her, you know. This entire camp, I was just thinking, uh, I was just thinking about how, how she did it for five times in a row, <laughs> you know. So it's, uh, I have a lot of respect for her. When I heard Bruce, Buff uh, Bruce Buffer saying the numbers, uh, how the judges scored the card, I was like, okay, I expected that I, I, I was going to win by split decision, but when I heard when I heard the difference, I was like, okay, we've got the win easy, even same my coaches. So it, it was really big surprise, and, and the numbers don't lie. 142 to 84, uh, and landed 132 strikes from me, 83 from Rose. That's the answer, that's the answer.